Hello my dear friends, today I am going to present you one more video for the class 4th and subject is EVS, the lesson is going to school. Before reading the content of the lesson given in your book, you must go through these learning outcomes and as per my view, only one TLO that is a targeted learning outcome for this lesson is to know about the different forms of lands landforms in India and the mode of transports used based on the landforms, on these landforms. Okay, the first of all, what you have to do is you have to uh, just know about the different types of landforms you will find out in the India. Mainly, we have these five types of landforms, the mountains, Gangetic plains, deserts, islands and plateau. See, these are the pictures you can come to know about. You can differentiate uh, um, very easily with the help of these pictures. Keep with which picture is of the desert, which is of the island. And, and after doing all these things, what you have to do, you just take out a map of India and just put all these landforms on the map as I am showing you on the screen. See, this is the mountain paths in the blue. The green one is the northern plains and this is also the plain area. Desert, plateau and these are the western ghats. Okay. In this way you will come to know that where you will find the landform in India. And after doing this activity, what you have to do is you have to just improve your skills means you have to focus on these skills means the first skill which you have to focus is, is exploring means you have to explore means after knowing the name of these landforms what you have to find out you have to find out some information about the features of these landforms for example i am giving you an example of plains these are flat fertile and easy to walk and so many other features you can find out for the deserts, mountains, plateau and all other landforms. And after doing that, what you have to do is you have to just collect the information and record that information on a page of your copy. Means which type of transport they are using in these areas of India. Okay, just go on the, take the help of websites and google and then you can find out these types of vehicles or transports and after collecting these information just analyze the data means after doing this what you have to do is you have to just draw a conclusion you have to come on a, um, a result like this if why they are using the bamboo bridges in the north part of india on a small rivers okay because in the north past of India we have the rivers and we have a lot a large amount of bamboo growing there so the people generally first of all they try to make the bridges with the help of these bamboos but if you analyze these data in the plain area of India you will find out that we are not using these bamboo bridges on um, these rivers like Ganga, big, big Ganga, because these are very big in size, and on big rivers, uh, it is not easy to build a bamboo bridge on these rivers. So just find out such type of questions, conclusions from this data, and also compare it with the other landforms. Okay. After doing all these activities, what you have draw a conclusion like I have drawn my conclusion that the type of transport depend on the landform. Availability of the resources means which type of resource is available there means if there is a, a bamboo they will use the bamboo bridges if there are stones on the hills they will make the rivers with uh, sorry bridges with the help of the stones and cement and the need of people also means what is the need of the people means if they they are only requiring to only cross the water body or whether they are you wanted to cross the transport big transport for over this that river all these things depends and in this way we can form the different types of uh, 
crossing over bridges and the need of people and the development of that area if the area is much more developed then the transport is automatically in a developed form Ex for an example as, as i have written for you that in deep forest or slopey hills the generally people used to cross or the things by walking in the rivers they use boat and vellums and cement bridges are also formed in plains we use cars motorcycles bike and two wheelers or four four wheelers or in the ship a ship we use in the sea or large water bodies so children after doing all these things you will come to know that the land forms and the mode of transport are correlated to each other after watching this video you will watch my next video in which i will tell you which content is used by the ncert to give you the details of your these this these findings okay till then um goodbye and have a nice day be safe stay at home thank you once again if you like it kindly share and subscribe it with your friends